welcome to Colombia and welcome to Bogota. We have arrived here two days ago and you can see already I'm wearing a jacket and a shirt and a t-shirt so it's not as warm as in Mexico because Bogota is so high it's uh, about 2,000 meters height or high and this time we have decided to stay in a hotel because we have checked several Airbnb places and as we are so high uh, it's also a little bit cold here there's Marty and we are waiting currently for our Uber to take us to the mountain of Montserrat which is a viewpoint so we get a clear overview of the city anyway we have decided to stay in a hotel because it's quite cold during the night and we have read in many reviews from Airbnb that the Airbnbs are kind of cold during the night and a lot of them had also only small beds and another topic also here in Bogota is the security situation we have not uh, found out how unsecure it really is but it's supposed to be a little bit more unsecured maybe like Brazil so for all these reasons we have to opt at this time for a hotel and we have such a great hotel with a nice bed and we slept so well because the last four places where we were staying on our trip were all so noisy during the night couldn't sleep no curtains and yeah we slept really good and now our Uber has arrived here and we are heading to Mount Serra. See you there. Up, but that is too dangerous according to the travel book. I don't know if that's true, but we don't have enough information to to make a decision for that. And the second way is to take the cable car. And there's also a funicular going up. Currently, we are queuing for the tickets because it's a public holiday today. It's Monday, but it's a public holiday in Colombia. We don't know which one it is, but that's why there are so many people here with us in the queue. We have reached the peak of Montserrat mountain and you have a clear and beautiful view over Bogota and the city actually spreads out over 1700 square kilometers and here on the right you can see the path where the people are hiking up Marty is pointing it out and the people are sweaty and all hot <laughs> yes even if it's not, not so hot today and we are now 3150 meters high and Marty doesn't get enough oxygen, even though he took the cable car. <laughs> and on top of this mountain is the church, and inside of the church is a statue of the fallen Christ, which has supposed to make wonders. So we will go into the church and have a look at this wonderful statue. So here on the mountaintop they have a bakery and they have sweet things. That's something for me here, I don't know what that is. And Marty has a queso, queso almoyabana. 
Almohabana. Almohabana. <laughs> we are just waiting for our two espressos. And I like this. This is very good. Very delicious. Very rico. Very delicious. Muy delicious. Que patra. <laughs> On top of the Monserrate, there's the compulsory chunk market. You have to go through. But they sell coca tea and coca leaves, marijuana. Marijuana? Yes. Uh -huh, wow. Whatever that is. And these are the coca leaves actually we could also buy already in Peru. And I wonder, I wonder what is this down here actually? <laughs> it's a <laughs> feet of a sheep. Souvenir de Colombia. Mm -hmm. There's also a cow feet here. <laughs> What did you find? So actually this thing is uh, a drinking bottle. But what? why should you drink out of a goat's feet? It's a goat's foot. Yeah, but why should you drink out of it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you know, different countries, different behaviors. <laughs> Maybe Prince mm. Luck or something. <laughs> so on top when you walk around the church, you have a beautiful view also on the mountains which are surrounding actually Bogota and behind the church there's a food court or like a little mini market where you can find all kinds of Colombian delights and we will have a look now at Colombian food. So here you can see some different Colombian food. They have all kind of sausages, blood sausages and in the travel book says that most of them they call them salsicha and this here I don't know what this is <laughs> and down here you have tamales which is actually rice with some other ingredients into a palm leaf wrapped up from the Montserrat uh, mountain on the Plaza Bolivar. Plaza Bolivar name comes from Simon Bolivar, whose statue is in the middle. I think Simon Bolivar gave his name to Bolivia, but we are here in Colombia, in Bogota. And this is surrounded by a few buildings that are from different ages. The most, the biggest edifice on this uh, square is the church, which is, uh, which has been built like four times. The first First one in the 16th century and this one is actually from the 19th century. All the colonial buildings on this square are actually there and all the others are more modern. So we have on the south side the parliament building, the Congress Nacional, and on the west side, yes, is the mayor's office, and on the north side is the uh, Justice Palace, which is a modern building built in the 80s or something like that. So today there's a lot of people here because it's a set is a free day for the Colombians, but the shops are open, so we can go and have a look at the shops. And actually we asked the Uber driver what is the public holiday today, and he said there is, it's, it's a public holiday, but there's no name given to this public holiday today. It's just free for everybody, but the shops are open.
He doesn't want to go. Okay. So we are here in the, the French little pastry yes, and coffee. It's cafeteria La Peña. And Garfield is already on the table, joining us for coffee and cakes. It's a handsome little place. Also, the capital of Colombia, of course, there are a lot of coffees. And a lot of coffee is actually planted here in Colombia, and 50% of the Colombian coffee actually goes to Europe. And as we are coffee junkies, we have to try all the coffees we are passing by. And this one is called Coffee Union, it's a small, uh, beautiful coffee in a colonial building where you can have, of course, all kinds of different coffees. Fernando Botero is probably the most famous Colombian artist who makes these completely overblown hands and faces and men and women and children and birds and even, even fuck leaders. And this museum is dedicated to him. He donated all these works to this museum. The museum is part of the bigger Banco de Colombia uh, complex. Let's have a look. So this is a good example of what he does. This is Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Potero style. After the Museo Botero, we are now on the street number 7, Carretera 7. And this is in uh, Bogota, a very lively pedestrian street where you have street vendors and musicians and artists and a lot of people, of course, especially today when it's a day off. Uh, so this was the way we saw it day one in Bogota, Colombia. Uh, Monterrat, the Museo Botero, the Centro Historico. We will certainly be, ba be back here in the Centro Historico to see more museums and see the churches. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. See you soon. Safe travels always. Bye. <laughs> Que son privadas y que han de tener su...